That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This isn't a hobby. This isn't a job. This isn't for fun. This is my life. Hello, pacemaker world. All my friends, bodybuilders, welcome back to my channel. 32 days left before the big day, the Empire Classic, April 23rd, 2023. Today we're discussing training methods and diet and posing and I just want to let you know my handicap is posing. It's difficult even for people with healthy hearts. He uses large amounts of blood and a lot of wind. With this pacemaker, the simple fact, I'm old. I have a half a dozen heart diseases. So if I die in this gym, it's all good. But the truth is I feel better than ever. Keep it clean, honest, and loving. Since I get 55%, it's very important I breathe and move slowly. Reducing body fat by caloric reduction has worked well. Best because the food I prep is tasty. And that's the key to staying within the limits of where you're supposed to be. Since I can't check my body fat on these machines because these lasers that conflict with my pacemaker also has a green laser. So they just collide and we get no real readings out of it. My weight training from bulking to shredding has not changed a bit. My reasoning is simple. I do 20 rep sets and throw in a set of 10, maybe just to get a little heavier to feel that weight, making sure my joints are warmed up first. The value of this is intensity and it keeps down inflammation. It's so much easier on the joints. I can use half the weight and still come to failure. That's what we're looking for, that connection to stimulate growth through failure. We're all gonna die. It's a guarantee. We will pass like vapor. My heart experience has taught me one thing. Live your life, chase your dreams. Fly beyond expectations. Fool them, use the Holy Spirit. Call it the force, but it gives me life. He will not deny you the dreams of your heart. 7,000 promises, it's a guarantee. Posing, it's very important with 55% blood flow, so I have to be shredded. Being ripped, I can stand there without cranking the shot and still look good. That's important. Holding poses takes a lot of wind, remember, and I don't have it. My pulse sensor only works with forward motion. So I have to move around that stage. I have to work that audience. I have to get out there and breathe and, and, and go to one corner, walk to the other corner, just so that I can keep my pulse up so that I can have that blood supply. My routine only consists of 12 poses and I'll be three to four breaths between poses. And it wouldn't be good if I, if I passed out. Could you imagine? Ever this bodybuilding show and I just drop, that would not be a good look. I'd probably, you know, get hauled off and I wouldn't place. So we don't want to do that. Speaking of pacemakers in bodybuilding, because I think I'm the only one, I haven't heard of any others. And if you're out there, please contact me. Make Put it in the comment below. Let's become friends. I, I want to know you. We're family now. If you're competing or not. And don't forget, you're listening to this or you're watching this, like and subscribe. I need this. I'm trying to build this channel. This has cost a, a lot, and people don't realize that work that goes into it, but it's a lot of work, like food prep, like training. It's a lot of work. With that old pacer, I'd get dizzy and feel like I was going to just pass out. But with this new one, thank you, Medtronic, this monster machine. My blood flow has doubled. My wind is so much better. I just feel like I'm young again and it's a beautiful feeling let me tell you a little quote that means a lot to me so remember it what doesn't challenge you will not change you and bodybuilding it's all about changing us we want to look different be different have energy and not be that same old slug that's sat on the sofa and besides bodybuilders want to be freaks we want to be different than the norm if that wasn't the case who would pay to see us? So contest prep is the work. Show day is the moment of truth. If you stick to contest prep, it can be a great day. If I half-ass it, it'll show where I place at the bottom. Staying hungry, training hard. When you're wore out from a hard day at work, 
Coming down to this last 30 days, practice, 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 because that posing is everything. The more comfortable, the better. But truly, I'm tired, and I, I want to just sit on my butt. But I can't, because life is out there, and I'm going to live it the best I can. That's it for this video. Hope you understand more about my journey from the death's doorstep. Ten months later, stepping up on the stage. I do this because of the new life that I've been given. I'm living my dreams and loving every day. So push yourself, let nothing stop you. Life is meant to be lived. So have some, just so we have some health issues, so what? Do what you can, but do it. Some of my best gym days are those days that I just had to push myself there. Well, thanks for watching. This is your pacemaker, bodybuilder, and friend. See you in the next video, train hard. Don't forget, like and subscribe.